Did I look like a little wuss? Do I regret that? Thanks you all for joining. I did this with the last book that I read. Was it called Advertising something? Um, Breakthrough Advertising. And it was fun. So 10X rule, Grant Cardone, background on Grant Cardone, he is a salesman. He is a real estate investor too. And his whole goal was to become synonymous with sales. So he wanted, when people think of sales or like sales training, they think Grant Cardone. The 10X rule, you must set targets that are 10 times what you think you want and then do 10 times what you think it will take to accomplish those targets. Dream big, back it up. So first off, plan. The ability to estimate the right amount of effort necessary for you and your team to achieve a goal is a required component for success. I don't really estimate how long things will be as much. I think in programming, it's like a joke how bad programmers are at estimating how long things will take. Doing this upfront, putting effort behind it, could be very beneficial. Execute slash take action. He approaches everything with massive action. It's been the sing single biggest determining factor in any of the success that he's created. You gotta do what other people will not do and take actions that even seem unreasonable to other people. Gotta think differently, gotta embrace a die hard level of commitment. Keep taking this massive action that is 10 times what you think necessary, followed by more actions. Do things. It takes way more than people calculate. The more actions you take, the more you get lucky. If you aren't creating new problems for yourself, you're not taking big enough actions. You can't ever hit it out of the park if you don't initially make contact and swing for the fences, set big goals, take big action, and you'll never have it, hit it big if you don't discipline yourself, yourself to be all in when you don't take action. I may regret my performance, but at least I won't regret not taking a shot. I think that's kind of funny about like the YC video that I shared yesterday. Did I look like a little wuss? Do I regret that? No. I'm, I'm pumped that I at least did it and it, it's cool to look back on. Be different change that we talk about this a lot. In order to get to the next level of whatever you're doing, you must think and act in a wildly different way than you previously have been done. Establish through longevity. When you correctly estimate the effort necessary, you will assume the appropriate posture. The marketplace will sense by your actions that you are a force to be reckoned with and are not going away. And it will begin to respond accordingly. I love this. Never underestimate how much activity it takes to be noticed and to maintain attention in the space. You have to keep showing up over and over and make it obvious that you're not going away. Real, real success is measured by longevity. Step up rather than target less. We do this. I do this. I say, what can we do consistent rather than setting a huge goal that we know we're going to miss? He's saying the opposite. When you start rethinking your targets, making up excuses, and letting yourself off the hook, you are giving up on your dreams. The idea of changing targets to make everyone feel good will lead to a further weakening of morale, hope, expectations, and skills, and everybody will start assigning reasons, better known as excuses, as to why the team is unable to attain its targets, never reduce a target, instead increase actions. A great manager will push a person to do more at the risk of coming up short, not targeting less. So we do this with reach outs. Rather than saying, I'm gonna do 10 a day, it's like, nah, let's do like two or three and let's just be consistent about it. If the goal is 10, then the goal is 10. Do more. Big goals. To maintain your enthusiasm, you have to make your goals substantial enough that they keep your attention. I thought that was interesting. If you're not dreaming big enough, then you probably, if it's not life changing in a lot of ways, then you're not going to change your life. Word your goals as though they've already been accomplished. Write down your goals every day. Choose objectives that are just out of reach. Grand claims over commitment and extreme promises will immediately separate you from the masses and therefore force you to deliver at 10x levels. And this is the one that, that I had in the back of my mind when you were talking about how do you attain the big goals. Trust that creativity follows commitment. Commit to the big goals and then believe in yourself to be creative enough in order to get to them. The 10xing principle is actually a very interesting one to consider. Like if your goal, if your next goal is 2000, why isn't it 20,000 for a mind trick? And then your, your ideas are gonna be vastly different. Importance of being seen. We talk about this all the freaking time. It's better to suck and be seen than not seen at all. Your only problem is obscurity, not talent. In order for the endeavor you've chosen to work out for you, you have to make constant relentless effort. If you don't know me, then it doesn't matter how good my product is or how low my price is. Increasing customers is the right target. 
There are 6.8 billion people on this planet and most of them need some kind of help. Customer satisfaction cannot exist without a customer first. <laughs> I like that one because we were talking about customer satisfaction the other day. Emerging organizations first need people to know about them and then do everything they can to make them happy. So get it out there. <laughs> live to your potential. If you don't consider it your duty to live up to your potential, then you simply won't. He talks a lot about tying your duty to like your family and your kids and even random people, like the 6.8 billion people that need help, using them for your drive rather than just making it all about yourself. There are certain things in life that have limits, but you don't unless you impose limits on yourself. There is no limit on how many times you can continue to take action. You can fail or succeed as many times as you want and then do it over and over again. No competition. Competing with others limits a person's ability to think creative, creatively because he or she is constantly watching what someone else is doing. The message you wanna to send to the marketplace is no one can keep up with me. I'm not going away. I'm not a competitor. I am the space. Jesus. What now? That was his whole, I want to be sales. When you think of sales, you think of me. Translate that to twos. If you think about writing things down, you think it is. The best way to quit worrying about competition and uncertainty is to build a fire so large and so hot that everyone in the world, even your competition, comes to sit by your fire for warmth. I think of this in Evernote, in digital note-taking, long period of time where if anybody thought of digital note-taking, it was basically Evernote, maybe Apple Notes. That was the comparison. You and your relation to Evernote, be obsessed, you have to follow up every action with an obsession to see it through to success. If your ideas do not excessively preoccupy your own thoughts, then how can you ever expect them to preoccupy the thoughts of others? Children are a wonderful example of inherent obsession. They are almost instantly fixated with any task they encounter. Learning, mimicking, discovering, playing, and utilizing their full energy for whatever captures their interest. Become obsessed about the things you want. Otherwise, you are going to spend a lifetime being obsessed with making up excuses as to why you didn't get the life you wanted. Embrace fear. Fear is a sign that you are doing what is needed to move in the right direction. If you aren't experiencing fear, you probably are not doing enough of the right things. Most of the time, what you fear doesn't even occur. I love that one because I used to think about that all the time. Especially if you have like a girlfriend and you're like jealous or whatever. 99% of that stuff isn't happening unless, you know. Emotions are wild, wildly overrated and the scapegoat many people use for their failure to act. Adults have their own boogeyman. The unknown, rejection, failure, success, and so on. If you're afraid to call in a client, then it's a sign that you should call that client. Fear of speaking with the boss as an, is an indication that you should march into his office and ask for a moment of his time. Fear of requesting the client's business means that you must ask for the client's business and then keep asking. The time is always now, and when you experience fear, it's a sign that the best time to take action is at that very moment. Refuse to feed your fear with time. It only grows stronger. Taking massive action quickly and repeatedly will ensure that you appear fearless in the market. What's up? Successful people embrace fear and discomfort. Block out the haters. He never said that, but I made that one up. Criticism precedes admiration. Keep pouring on the success and sooner or later that's the very same people who are putting you down will be admiring you for what you have done. People feel the need to criticize other people's ventures as a way to justify giving up on their own. Responsibility is greater than excuses. It's impossible to do something positive when you are spending your time making excuses. It is impossible to take big actions if you don't take responsibility. Excuses are never the reason for why you did or didn't do something. They're just a revision of the facts that you make up in order to help yourself feel better about what happened or didn't. Excuses are for people who refuse to take responsibility for how their life and how it turns out. Only getting to the real reason behind the excuse will change your situation. Commit to never using excuses for anything. I think there is a Tim Ferriss experiment where you try to go 30 days without ever making an excuse or something like that. Engaging in self-pity and making excuses and excuse making are signs that someone has an extremely minimal <laughs> degree of responsibility. We did it. <laughs>